this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to come on really fast. I just loaded the video um, from what Sheila sent me. Sweet, sweet Sheila. But I've been needing to make some snowballs because I need to get my snowball swap, snowball fight swap out this week. So I thought I would make some pom-poms out of, out of yarn and use my little snowball or my pom-pom uh, maker. Now, if you don't have a pom-pom maker, you could still make these with a piece of cardboard and just wrap your yarn around the cardboard. That's all you've got to do. Um, but I'm going to use, I'm going to use my little gadgets here. Now I've got several sizes. This makes a big gigantic one. This one is a clove, the clover brand. I think these right here are, we are memory keepers. If my, if I can remember correctly. And then these two are also clover. So, um, but anyway, yeah, this one is the one I just used to make this one. And it literally took me five minutes and it is so soft. Let me show you the yarn I'm using. This is the yarn I'm using. It's Hometown Lion Brand Yarn. And this one is, and I don't really know a lot about all the weights of yarn and all that stuff. But, um, let's see here. Oh, here you go. Um, it's a six. I don't know if that makes any, y'all, I am not a yarn. I'm not a yarn I'm not a yarn person, but here's what it says on the side. So don't quote me on anything, but it is so soft. I picked this up at uh, my um, Walmart is actually where I got it from. And it was like $3.99 for a scheme. And I did pick up two of them because I didn't know how many I was going to need. But literally that turned out so nice and fluffy. I didn't need to add any more on it. So let me show you how to make these. And let's see here. I think I'm going to try using this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn, just find the end, and these little things pop open. So all you're going to do is open this up, and I like to hold mine even, and then I'm just going to take my yarn, and I'm going to wrap it around. I, I'm holding the tail, the end, so it stays over there and then eventually it'll just kind of go under and you don't have to hold it anymore. And I like to make mine just go all the way over. Just like this. And a lot of times I'll let my yarn just fall on the floor and I'll just keep wrapping so I wanted to have a couple of these to put in my box and my goal is to have this mailed out this week so for my partner okay okay so whenever the side gets pretty full as you see I'm just gonna go a little more And there we go. So once it gets full, then kind of close it. And then I'm going to take my scissors, going to trim it off. And then I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do the other side. So the nice thing about having this is because it will hold your yarn in place. Okay, so I like to, I always like to start mine in the center. I'm holding it. And I'm just going to take it and wrap them. One time my sister Dolly came to visit. Her and her husband came just for an overnight visit when they were coming down when my parents were still with us. And and so my sister was like, I know you were making those pom-poms. And she, she wanted to know how to make them. And so her and I went to, to Joanne's and we found some pom-pom makers and that's when I got this big one. And um, we just sat there with our husbands and watched TV and just chatted and made pom-poms. It was fun. It was fun. I wish that, I, you know, like more of my siblings and my kids and, you know, sister-in-laws and all that. I wish that they all liked to craft because it would be so fun to host a craft night and uh, just have them over and have have plans of the crafts that you're going to make and 
Just maybe I could teach them what to do if they don't know how. It would be so, so much fun. It really would. Okay, so I'm getting to the end on this one. It's pretty full. I'm gonna do that. You're gonna push it, push it together. Take my scissors. I'm going to, to I'm gonna trim this one off too. So it's just like this. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. I know it looks funky. So now you're what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna pop them up inside here. Now it's pretty thick, so I just have to take like the ends of my scissors and just snip my yarn. I said these scissors are, are dull. I needed to pull out my other ones. Let me see if the red ones will work any better. Oh, the red ones are worse. Let me grab my other scissors, y'all. Okay. Grab these that I keep over by my sewing. Let's see if these will be any better. It's easier. Oh, yeah, these are a little better. It's because I have it so thick. I like them to be puffy. So I'm just going to take it, and you're going along that inner part. And there we go. So now, then you're going to take it, and you're going to do the other side. Don't open it up. Everything will fall off. You have to tie everything in place first. I think I got my We Are Memory Keepers ones from Tuesday morning, back when Tuesday morning was fun to go to. Now it's pretty much just like a housewares type place. And, and that's nice too if that's what you're looking for, but I never went there for that. But I think that's where I have it. Oh, these scissors are much, much better. Okay, so now that I've got it all cut, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of yarn and you're gonna pop it up in there and bring it around. You're gonna pull it as tight as you can. Oops, hold on here. Let me get that off. I gotta do that again because I kinda went off. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this in place. I'm gonna pull it so it's now up inside. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim off my yarn. I'm gonna tie this as tight as I can get it. Cause you got that needle that's down or like, it's like a, it's like a, a metal thing in between. I'm gonna tie it off a few times. Make sure you tie it tight so your pom-pom doesn't fall apart. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna trim this. And then all you do is you take these two little things and you bring those up. And then you do the same thing with the other ones. And then you take the plastic things, pull it apart. See, that's what it looks like on the inside. And there you go, you got yourself pom-pom. And then you just take your scissors, take your scissors and kind of trim it up. You want it to be to be nice and round and there you go so that's how you make a pom-pom y'all aren't they so cute I want to make a couple of them for my partner I think it would be fun it'd be nice if you know satisfying just to sit there and hold it and play with it and squish it and Yep, I want to make her several sizes. I might see if I can do a big one, but that's all. That's it. That's all it took. I'll see if I can link some of these below. And um, yeah, and um, all you do is get yourself some yarn, and I would prefer some nice soft yarn. That's how I got this to look the way it is. I'm using some pretty soft, fluffy yarn, but as you see here, look at the weight of the yarn. It's pretty thick. 
So anyway, that is it y'all. Easy, easy, easy. I hope you find in your hutch you might want to do this as well. And you know, if you wanted to, you can kind of lay it flat, cut it like the shape of a heart and make some little heart pom-poms. That'd be cute. Or you can always string them over and make some pom-pom garland. There is so much that you can do with these, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this so, so much, and I hope you have a great day, and tomorrow is Monday. I'm in the office, so won't be coming on like at lunchtime or anything, but I'll probably come on tomorrow night because I want to get this swap done. Anyway, have a great night, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.